all right what's going on you guys welcome to real Madrid. Hub again i'm your host dr jota and as you probably know already there's a huge scandal going on around psg for um the situation the situation they were talking about um yesterday apparently as you know for all those of you who still don't know let me tell you all it is very important um al Khalifi psg apparently okay i'm not saying it happened but apparently they hired an agency marketing agency or whatever to um create a kind of campaign through twitter right through twitter to insult um look down diminish uh to talk trash basically around players journalists and other people and that is a huge scandal because if Kylian Mbappe feels I mean among others it was Mbappe so they were creating the campaign to insult players and stuff including Kylian Mbappe which make the things worse right um in itself is a huge scandal right in itself it is a big problem it's a big trouble and of course now anybody really knows what can happen but Apparently, according to different media sources and stuff like that, uh, RMC, Radio Monte Carlo, they made the call to a attorney or something like that that really knows about the things, what can happen, consequences, and all the stuff. And she said, Kylian Mbappe, with this thing on hand, Kylian Mbappe can terminate his contract with PSG because it's a very, very major offense, right? So he might say, hey, did you guys do this? Okay, perfect. We are going to terminate that my contract. I'm going to terminate my relationship with you all guys because you have created this kind of campaign or for this thing or whatever, okay? So it is not only the fact Kellyanne Mbappe wants to leave PSG for obvious reasons, right? Like, I mean, they didn't bring the player or the players he wanted to he wanted them to bring um they didn't sign a coach like Zinedine Zidane um he's not the leader of the group he's not the leader of the project so there are multiple reasons why Kylian Mbappe uh, might leave PSG but on top of that now we have another one we found out they've been creating I mean this is something FC Barcelona did as well in Spain so it is the same scandal same thing for any reason the president of an institution like PSG or FC Barcelona or whoever they hire a agency to create multiple profiles and accounts in Twitter to insult and diminish and, and look down and uh, yeah to basically talk trash about players journalists and other people right so I don't know why they did that i mean in my opinion they had reasons enough to not to do that right because apparently this was um, back in 2019 so um, we're not talking about something that happened in 2021 or um the summer previously to the drama with real madrid or something like that no it is coming i mean way it, that is coming from a long time ago right it is not from yesterday or something no it is coming from a long time ago which means that when they were okay because back in the back in 2019 i think that they were involved in the in in that crazy summer with neymar coming back to barcelona i for i can what i can recall that was that summer so um not sure about that yet but i don't think there was any kind of super big problem that they had so alkalifi could talk okay the best thing we can do is to hire an agency or something like that i don't know so but that is the thing right now in paris and let me jump on to the next news because it's even more important and it is you said at all um revealing what the plans are uh with drama did as far as kilian mbappe and all the things we've been talking about over the last days look um Giuseppe Perrault said in the show tonight I'm gonna unveil what is the position of Real Madrid with all this whole thing with Kylian Mbappe right and that position is Mbappe will not be attached to the future plans of Real Madrid 
he's not within the plans of Real Madrid for the next near foreseeable future. So Florentino Perez really doesn't want to sign the player and he hasn't even thought about that. So forget about it for now. I mean, in soccer, everything can change overnight, right? But when something like this happened, the most obvious reason for me is for Florentino Perez not to do anything and just wait. For now, I think that Real Madrid is going to sit down and wait and see what happens, right? What is the reaction of the player, reaction of people, reaction of fans, which in my opinion is very clear because the 90% of the Real Madrid fans, I mean, I got a, I, I, um, I set up a poll in my Twitter account asking the people what do, what do they think about um, Mbappe? I mean, are they willing to forgive um, Kylian Mbappe or on the other hand, they're not willing to forgive Kylian Mbappe or what can happen, right? Um, um, this kind of thing. So um, yeah, that is the point. So are you willing to forgive Kylian Mbappe? Would you be okay uh, for Real Madrid to go in ahead again and uh, trying to sign Kylian Mbappe this time and the 90% of the people said no we don't want Kylian Mbappe anymore which in my opinion is a very clear response from the Real Madrid fandom or whatever you want to call it so I think that yeah it's it's pretty much for now it's pretty much impossible but from my experience, from my understanding, and after four years, right, working on YouTube and following very closely um, this industry, I cannot tell you guys that this cannot, won't, will not happen in the future. It might happen in the future. That's pretty obvious to me because um, the most weirdest things you can ever imagine have happened already right like for example the day Leo Messi was kicked out from Barcelona nobody thought about that nobody could even imagine Leo Messi leaving FC Barcelona but it happened it happened right so um, do not say no ever because nobody really know if Real Madrid might be interested in the player uh, when, ev when everything comes down or something like that if Kylian Mbappe for example shows up in public and say hey uh, <coughs> Sorry, um, if Kylian Mbappe shows up in public and says, hey, look, I was wrong, I made a mistake, um, these guys um, literally cheated on me, they promised a bunch of things that they never um, did, right? So I was literally, I mean, not scammed, right? But I mean, they were cheating and I, I made a mistake. I, uh, my apologies or something like that to Ramadi fandom, to Ramadi people, to Florentino Perez. If say he says something like that, there might be a possibility for Ramadi to reconsider in the signing, right? But other than that, man, I'm not quite sure about it. I mean, he might go out of public and say, hey, Ramadi fans, I'm sorry. I made a mistake, a huge mistake. I was cheated by these people that were promising me a bunch of things. Mario Cortegana said last night, um, the player apparently is willing to return all the money, right? He's made so far in, in um, um, with, the, with the purpose of leaving um, PSG because he wants to be free. He just want to play and that's it. Uh, in order for him to be free, he's willing to return that money. And I mean, I don't know if that is going to be enough, right? But I mean, not every single player would do that, right? So to me, it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, if he's okay with that, I'm okay too. And um, the other thing is, if you look for the best of Real Madrid, when you have a player like Kylian Mbappe, um, he's not crushing it, of course. He's not crushing it this season. He's not playing like a, his top level, right? But if he is willing to do that, if he has the potential, if he is um, a player that might fit Real Madrid, in my opinion, Real Madrid might, again, reconsider his position and say, okay, let's go. Let's try to sign the player because he really deserves a second chance, right? Everybody in this world deserves a second chance, especially when it's pretty clear that he was cheated, right? 
and um, he probably didn't know um, he was young enough for Nintendo Press might talk to him and say hey okay you want to come in the drama then play fine perfect but let me tell you something here is the institution is not about the player okay the institution is not revolving around any single player the players revolves around the institution right that's it I mean if you're okay with that we're okay with you so if you're okay with that if you accept that you can come and play for Real Madrid otherwise forget it we're not going to build up a institution a club a team just for you right you're one more you are one more piece in the whole engine right so if you have it clear then you may have a chance to play in Real Madrid. Otherwise, forget it. Real Madrid is not PSG. But let me tell you something else. Frontino knew all the things Akalefi was promising to the player. <coughs> it was pretty much impossible. For a modern soccer football club, it's pretty much impossible. Okay? So, I don't know. Um, I don't think it was going to happen, but... It is what it is, man, and, and the things are that way. So uh, if, he, if Mbappe um, shows up in public again and says something, people might forgive him. Otherwise, forget it. And the other problem is, where are you going to feed the player right now? I mean, you have um, Vinicius completely consolidated in the, right, in the left wing, Rodrigo taking off, and Benzema, who is not doing a great season right so far, but it's always Benzema, man. So, are you going to put him in the bench just for Kylian Mbappe to come and play? I don't think so. Well, anyways, um, that's what I have for you all guys today. And now, let me know your comments below and see you in the next video.